Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video session, we learn about what is exception, what are the exception handling activity available in UiPath, and then we learn about try catch block, rethrow, throw, and terminate workflow. All we demonstrate in the UiPath Studio. So guys, let's start today's video session. So first is what is exception? Exception is an unwanted, expect, unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program. This is called as an exception. For example, you want to read the file content, but the file you are trying to read that might not be present at the given location. So that's why exception will occur. And we can handle it various activity. So what is exception handling? Performing an alternate flow or performing a set of tasks when exception arise known as exception handling. So what is basic need of exception handling? Whenever an exception occur, most programming languages and tools will crash the execution of the current task. This might cause several problem when you dealing with the sensitive data. So this is very important to handle the exception. Then what are the activities available in the UI path? So exception handling mainly deals with handling error with respect to various activities in UI path. So there are total four options like try catch block, rethrow, throw activity, and terminate workflow. So we'll see one by one. So first is try catch block. Try catch block, this activity is used when you want to test something and handle the exception accordingly. So whatever you want to test, you can put it under this try section, this try section, and then it can be handled using the catch section. Apart from the try catch, we also the final section that performs activities irrespective of whether an exception occur or not. So you are able to see the try catch block activity, which is available in your path. So we'll demonstrate this try catch activity in UiPath. So this is UiPath Studio. Click on process. Exception. Handling. So I'll demonstrate how we can use the try catch block with very simple example. So this is our UiPath Studio. I am taking one sequence. And you can go to the activities panel and search try catch. So in try catch, you can use any activity here. So to explain this, I'll taking one activity input dialog. So I'm asking user to enter any input. Input value, then input type text box. And the value which is entered by the user, it should be stored into one variable so i'm creating here variable and you can give any name user data so it should be a string variable right so this value automatically came into this box now i'm taking one message box to show you what value entered by the user so i'm passing this user data and using trim function to trim the spaces, front and back end spaces. Now, what we have to do in the catches, we'll put exception, system exception. And you have to, here I'm, instead of exception, I'll directly take, it's a variable exe 
and which exception will occur you can show x e e dot message right so i run this workflow so that you will understand i'm saving this one run file so here i am providing value with spaces yeah i am providing the front and back end spaces so it give us message india with removing the spaces so now what i'll do is i'm not providing any input i'll run once more time and i'm not pro providing any input so here the exception occur and we'll get this message object reference not set to an instance of an object right so now if you understand how the try catch block will execute and the final block is optional it mostly uh, run where exception occur or not and when you have uh, performing your task on url or any desktop application then you can use here kill activity or close tab and you can execute in the final block that that thing so now we'll move to the next rethrow rethrow is one of the activity provided by ui path to handle the exception it is used when you want to active you want activities to occur before the exception is thrown it always used in the catch block so i'll show you in ui path how the rethrow activity will be used so i'll keep as it is and i am using here rethrow rethrow activity right so now i'll run this workflow one more time and i'll show you so here i am not providing any input so the exception message is shown object reference not set to and this this one and rethrow activity will throw the same error again this one right so in this way this uh, rethrow activity will be used now we'll move to the next activity throw activity throw it is used when you want to throw error before the execution of the step so by using this activity you can uh, give us the custom message to the user so how that i'll show you in ui path so i'm removing this rethrow and instead of that i'll use throw activity so i'm taking throw and now here you are able to see exception so what i'll do is i'll provide the new exception new exception and in double quotes you can tell the user input value is not provided please provide it right so now the custom exception is created in it so i'll show you how it's work i'm saving this one and run the file so here i'm not giving any input value here okay so the error message will show us then now you are able to see through the throw activity input value is not provided please provide it this new exception which we added earlier that is shown here so throw activity is basically throw the error which is custom or we can uh, tell the user what is exactly error right so the next activity is terminate workflow so terminate workflow is used to terminate the workflow the moment the task encounter an error so whenever errors occur that time this workflow will directly terminate so i'll show you how we can use that 
I am deleting this activity, and you can use the terminate workflow. So here you can provide in the properties panel. You have to provide the exception and the reason. So I am just providing here exception. Right. So now we'll show run file. So I am again not providing any value. So this error message, and it will show us the same error message to terminate workflow. And here our execution is completely stopped. And in in detail, if you show here. Object reference not set not set to an instance of an object. This is our details. So guys, this is all about the error handling activities which is available in UiPath. I hope guys, this I'm taking very simple example so that you will understand how it's work and how we can recover using try catch activity. Any exception can be handled through the catch block. So, guys, if you feel this video is really helpful for you, then please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And ask me any question in the comment. And press bell icon to get notification for my upcoming videos. So, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching.